Hi guys, welcome to class. In this class, we are starting a new topic, bond valuation, as you can see on the board. I was editing the previous class yesterday, and I saw that I was not even greeting whenever I start. So, you guys should tell me how have you been enjoying the classes. If you are following, <laughs> have you been enjoying the classes? Um, just let me know what you think in the comment section. Tell me what you need me to do better so that I can improve and serve you better. <laughs> so, this new topic, Bond valuation is a very simple topic, interesting. Every topic in STEM is actually simple. Okay, so I'm here to let you see the simplicity through explanations. So, what is a bond? A bond is a long term debt. A bond is a long term debt instrument. Yeah, it's a long term debt instrument. Okay, the venture, not more definition. So, a bond means debt. So, let's say your company wants to raise money, right? Through debt. It means your company is a debt issuer and the people putting money are the debt holders, that's the investors. Okay, so it is not the name of debt holder and debt issuer, right? Um, so let's talk about the features of bonds. We want us to be fast, I want us to solve like three examples in this video. So the features of bonds you have par value, you have coupon, you have maturity, you have a redemption value, and you have market value okay so let me briefly explain what each of them means so every bond has a power value okay power value is the face value you see there's no definition let me just explain let's say this is a bond a certificate of debt the debt stock there is a value usually placed on it that's the power value face value or nominal value or book value okay. then the coupon is the interest hmm? is that interest is a fixed rate it's always in percentage that value is something like eight percent the venture trading at that trading as is the market value, you get there. So coupon is the interest rate, fixed rate of interest, usually payable to the debt holder. If I put money in your business, right, as a debt, I'm the debt holder, you are the debt issuer. So the debt issuer must pay monthly interest to the debt holder. It could be annually, okay, it doesn't have to be monthly. Then every debt, every bond has a maturity. That's like something like N, hmm? number of years, it has a maturity. Except for irredeemable debt. And irredeemable debt, hmm? there's not just specified date of maturity. You don't have a specified date whereby the debt will mature, the debt relationship will expire, and then the debt issuer will have to pay back to the debt holder is principal. Okay? Now, the next one is redemption value. Every bond has a redemption value. The redemption value is the amount of money or the lump sum that will be payable to the debt holder after the debt matures. Okay? And this redemption value, it could be at par, it could be at discount, and it could be at the premium. So they will tell you. Yeah. I get to send to the with the venture trading at 96 naira per hundred, redeemable in five years time at the discount or at the premium or at par. So at par means at par with the face value. At par with something. At discount, at discount to the face value, that is less. It will be less than the face value. And at the premium means higher than the face value. So then I say it's redeemable at the premium of 5%. So these are just simple technologies that you need to understand. So when you are reading the question or when you are reading the paragraph in the bigger question, you get what you are saying. Then the market value is the price that the debt or the bond is trading at in the market. Okay, so most of these debt, just imagine that it's a certificate, the paper that I have explained, they, they are usually pegged at 100 naira, right? In most questions, it's usually 100, 100 naira. So in the market, it will be trading at 96 naira per 100. That is, per one certificate, the debt holder, which is the person bringing money, the investor, should pay 96 naira for 100. So it means that they are buying at the lower value, right? And in most cases like that, since the cost of debt, which is the minimum required rate of return that the investor is getting, will usually be higher than the coupon. We'll see those things demonstrated in examples. So, um, I think we should move to question. Before we move to questions, let's talk about combatible debt. You know, a debt can be um, redeemable, right? And it could also be irredeemable. Irredeemable. So, a redeemable debt, it could also be a, it could be a combatible Debt. And I mentioned convertibility by the cost of debt as it gives the debt holder an option to convert to either cash or share value, right? So the higher is what is usually picked. And I told you that if it is cash, of course, they'll tell you that it is redeemable at premium or at discount, so you just get value at this package. But if it is share, to so let the share value will be P into 1 plus growth rate raised power N times R. Do you understand? This is the price, current price of the share, this is the growth rate. The rate at which it is growing, this is the number of years to maturity, and this is the number of shares in the exchange. That is, maybe at redemption, they will give 20 shares or 50 shares. So that's a compatible option. Do you understand? So whichever is higher is what you pick at redemption. 
You understand? Now, there's also something you must know about convertible bonds, which is um, the floor value. In a question, you can ask to calculate the floor value. They will also ask to calculate the conversion premium. Okay? The conversion premium. So the floor value looks at the minimum cash flow obtainable from that convertible option. And the format of calculating floor value is usually the present value of the coupon plus the present value of cash redemption. Okay, present value of coupon plus present value of cash redemption. So I will explain better. Okay, I will explain better. This is what somebody is supposed to get normally now. A debt holder, you get the coupon and redemption, right? Cash redemption. Then the conversion premium, this one comes in when this share price, the share value is actually higher than the cash. So it means that the investor will be cheaper. So they can ask you to convert, they can ask you to calculate conversion premium. And the conversion premium at this point will be what? Eh? Conversion value. Hmm? I will explain because there's an example on this, right? Minus the market value. And this market value is kind of the floor value, okay? Let me just put it in the floor value. I will explain everything when we are solving questions. So let's go to solving questions right away. So I have a question on my phone. So I have a question on my phone. Bond valuation. So I'll post on the screen. Question 1A. Okay. A firm has issued 7% on dated bond, each with 100 naira nominal value. The current yield is quoted at 7.42%. Calculate the market price of the bond. Before we start solving this question, let me talk about valuation. I'll explain what the bond is. So, valuation is you're trying to value a bond. And usually, this is from the point of view of the investor, the debt holder. You guys have to factor it from the point of view of the investor. Bond valuation is from the point of view of the investor. Okay? So in bond valuation, the major things that they can ask you to calculate or the major variables that the bond valuation question will revolve around will be one, market value. They can ask you to calculate market value. Hmm? That is what the bond is trading at in the market. Number two, they can ask you to calculate the yield to maturity. Hmm? This yield to maturity is the same thing as cost of debt. Cost of debt, always. So the yield to maturity and cost of debt are the same thing. Number three, is bond duration. The bond duration. This bond duration is also known as Macaulay duration. Macaulay duration. Okay? And you can also ask to calculate the modified, the modified duration. The modified duration. So all these four valuation parameters, I'll explain each of them. But let's start with market value. So they're going to market value, then move to this, this, and this, and subscribe so classes. So, so what is the market value of a bond? Just like I've told you here, is what the bond is trading at. The the price actually they are buying and selling it in the market. So calculate the market value of the bond. The formula is present value of future cash flows. That's all. Present value of future cash flows. See, present value of future cash flows. And that makes sense. A debt holder or an investor will not put more than what you can get in the future. Remember the market value is how much the investor will drop per bond. I mean, so, it can't put more than what it will earn in the future now. So, present value of something means you are discounting it for today. Present value, what is the value today? So, if you are telling me that every year you'll be getting 8 percent on, you'll be getting 8 percent interest, I think those are the future values. I don't know what's happening in the future, right? So, the future of cash flows was interest and what? Repayment value, right? The lump sum that you pay me back that I put into your business. So, these are the future cash flows. Now, discount these two future cash flows to present value. You know whatever I discount on it to reduce the value. Let me know what the worth is today. Don't tell me you give me 50 million in the future and I will take you 50 million. If I discount it, it might be like 45 million. It means that in the future, the 50 million I will collect is like 45 million of today. Do you understand? So the present value of future cash is how to calculate your market value. Now let's go back to the question. This question says a firm has an issue. 7% on dated bond. If it has 7% is what? The coupon, right? So I is equal to 7%. Undated, undated means no date of redemption, so it's an irredeemable debt. Okay, then it said each with 100 naira nominal value or par value or the face value or the book value. Then the current yield, yield, the cost of debt, KD, is quoted at what 7.42 percent. KD, minimum required rate of return. See, it's a little greater than the interest. It means that this investor, as you can already see from my explanation, will definitely. Have a lower market value, and we pay less for a bond of 100 naira. Does it make sense? It makes sense. So let's now solve. They said, uh, calculate the market price of each bond. And I told you, market price or market value of the bond is equal to what? Present value or future cash flows. Ask yourself what are the future cash flows. The future cash flows is the interest and what? The redemption value, right? 
you pay it. But it's every payment. And I'm on the third one. There's usually you no know, repayment. So what you do is to discount only the interest. That's very mm -hmm. clever. So the interest was 7% times 100 naira. That would be what? 7 naira. Hmm? Multiplied by. Remember when you're doing cost of data, when you are discounting, you are multiplying by a discount factor like this. 1 plus R raised to power minus N. Remember? Remember? Try to remember when you're doing IRR. When you are discounting, there's a video on my channel on how to discount, convert from um, present value to future value. I'll link it up so you can click down and back and understand the concept of this discounting. So, this is how to discount. So, this R is the discounting factor, KD. Hmm? Cost of data, that's the discounting factor. So, here now, this discounting factor is not applicable. Because there's no number of years, there's no way to get to be redeemed. It's an undated bond, irredeemable bond. Daddy. So, when you are trying to discount cash with an irredeemable bond, you multiply by what? R raised to a minus 1. Do you understand? What is an irredeemable bond? This is R raised to a minus 1. That is what? You are discounting to infinity. That's what it means. You are discounting to infinity. You are not putting N. N cannot come in because there's no number of years. And that way you see, if you go to class, the lecturer will just say 7 naira over R. And this is the concept, okay? Because if you give in this card, you know that R is for minus 1 means 1 over R. So, market value is what? This one is a very simple question. You can't even see this kind of thing exam. R is what? 7.42%. 7.42% is 0 0.072. Point to your capital, 0 0.072, right? Raised to a minus 1. Okay? So let's solve this. So let's solve this. I know that this one is the same thing as what? 7 over 0 0.072. So just type that in your calculator. 7 divided by 0 0.072. So, uh, oh, 0 0.072. Sorry, I wasn't putting the 4 2. Please put your 4 2. 4 2. 4 2. Okay. And that gives you what? Market value of 94.33. See, the bond is trading at 94 naira. Let's pick up. For a bond, what? 100 naira. Look at the index holders or the investor are buying it at 94.33 naira. Yes, they are buying it because they give them a certificate and then they drop cash for 94.33 naira. So you get the whole picture. So if a bigger question comes, you know how to solve it. I mean, look at this thing is logical. You kind of know that your answer will be less than 100. You know it's less than 100. Why? Because the returns, cost of debt, which is this in the theoretical return, minimum required rate of return, 7.42 percent, is already greater than what's Point is, remember when we talked about this thing in cost of debt class? And that's why you need to follow the classes sequentially. That's why they are set like that so that you can understand a new topic, right? So, because this cost of debt is higher than this one, it means the, the investor is gaining more than what is actually being paid as interest. Definitely, they bought it at less, right? When you drop less for something that something is worth, it means you're actually gaining. Yeah. So, this example would be it says a company has an issue 8%. 100 naira nominal value bond. Let's just be writing. 8%. That's already the interest, right? The coupon. 8%. 100 naira nominal value bonds. It means the par value is what? 100 naira. The face value. Mm? Most of the time, it's 100 naira. Redeemable at a 5% premium. Put the calculate your redemption value. The cash that the holder will receive. Mm? Redemption value is what? 100 naira times 1.05. Right? That will give you 105 naira. This is the redemption value. Redeemable at 5%. See, the way to go about this 1.05 is that you will redeem 100 naira, right? The face value. Then 5% of that 100 naira is what? 5% times 100. That's 5 naira. So that extra 5 naira is 105. Instead of going through this long method, 1.05, this one, in absolute terms, means 100 plus 5%. Okay? So, in case you see all those things in class, that's why they just do it like that. It's just simple mathematics actually. Um, five percent premium in ten years time. This one has dates, right? In ten years time, the current yield on the bond yield to maturity. The current yield on the bond that's KD is what ten percent. Wow, this is far higher than the coupon. From this one, you should already know that the market value would definitely be lower than. The face value of the debt. Because look at what the investor is getting. You know, because you understand this concept, you kind of know if the answer is wrong or right. Okay? Calculate the market price of each bond. Calculate the market price. And we said before the market price is what? Present value or future cash flows. Ask yourself what are the future cash flows? The future cash flows here is what? The interest. 
And on number two, the repayment value, which is how much? 105. The interest is how much? 8% of 100, right? Coupon is always calculated on face value. I've said that in the course of this class. What am I shouting? <laughs> what am I shouting? Honestly, I'm still a child, like, the child will be scared. I hope my husband can teach her. So, 8% times 100, that's 8 naira. Okay? And this was 105 naira. So, get the present value. Now, let me tell you something. This 8 naira will be received in year 1, in year 2, in year 3, in year 4, up until year 10. So, I'm going to start saying 8 times 1 plus R. Where is R? 10% 0.1 raised to minus 1 plus 8 times 1 plus 0.1 raised to minus 2 plus, you know, what's our previous one going to happen in year 1? You do this year 2. In year 3, you just do 8 times this up until year 10. Then in year 10, you do repayment, right, of 1.05 times 0.1 raised to power minus 10. You know, it's too long. And that's where annuity table comes in, or the annuity approach. You understand? Where you just describe what is happening in a table. That is, I'm collecting interest between year 1 and year 10. And that's what they call it years. Okay? What is happening? That's maybe the details. We call it what? Coupon. Hmm? How much is it? That is, the cash flows is what? 8 naira. Hmm? What am I multiplying this by? The discounting factor, which I told is 1 plus R raised power minus N, right? But this one is not the annuity discount factor. Okay? In cost of debt, I give you a big annuity discount factor. But in exam, you use your annuity table. This is the annuity table. Not only in exam, anywhere, always use your annuity table. Only when your annuity table is not available, that's when you use this formula 1 minus 1 plus R raised power minus N over R. Okay? That's when you use that formula. You see this formula, you know what it did? It has brought together all the discount factors. 1 plus r raised power minus 1 plus 1 plus r raised power minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 10. That's what that formula is doing. And that's what your annuity table does. Just in case in class, you don't understand what the lecturer was saying again. So your discount factor for 1 to 10 years, you check your annuity table. See, you check what? 10% discount rate, 10% under 10 years. Hmm? Can you see that? That's what? 6.145. Multiply by 6.145. This will save you the stress. And then you get your present value. The present value is when you discounted something and you reduce the value normally. So 6 times 4. Six, so 8 times 6.15. That should give you 40 something. Let's calculate So 8 times 6.145. That gives you 49.16. See, if you are collecting 80 naira for 10 years, you expect that you should what? 80 naira, right? At the end of 10 years, I'm going to add 80 naira. But you think that when you get that 80 naira in the future, it's like the 49 naira of today. That's what it's present value. So there's no amount of definitions that will actually build you up of understanding what it means. So when you are getting the higher value here, you know that something is wrong. It should be less than the total that it should be in real value, okay? Then in year 10, you are going to redeem redemption. At how much? 105 naira, 5% premium. This investor is chopping life. First of all, you paid less for debt from our projections because your return is more than the coupon. Now, the redemption is even at the premium of 105, right? Now, what's the discount factor at year 10? It will be a simple discounting factor you use. And there's no table for this one, right? So it's 1 plus 0.1 raised to our minus 10. Okay? And that's what puts in your calculator. And that gives you 0 0.385. 0 0.38. Let's say 386. Yeah, so always put the discount factor in three decimals because in ICANN, that's how it's supposed to be. ICANN solution is in three decimals. Okay, then multiply by what? 105. 105, you can see. 40 point what? Point four eight. It's telling you that after 10 years, are you worrying me? <laughs> the 105 naira you will receive that's making you jubilate now. It's going to be 40 naira. As in, you receive the 105 value, present value, the value is. 40.48 naira. The same way you look at 40.48 naira of today, that's how it will be in the future. So you can see that this thing is just evaluation. Okay? Okay, I have to stop my class right now. Now, when you add this, you have 89 points something. I have to stop the class right now. I'm so sorry, I'll continue to later. Guys. So that is. So that would be market value. Just tell me when we'll come back. <laughs> yeah, so let's continue. Um, the example we're solving, the market value, we got the market value as I think 89.64 or something. So it shows you that that market value is less than the power value, right? So you could already start from the um, cost of debt and the coupon, right? So you could predict that this would be less. So you could predict that this would be less than the market value. So there's another question, question 3, that was supposed to solve in this class. 
Okay, so it's uh, question three. One evaluation, sorry. Question three. So the question says, let me turn this one. I'll put the question on the screen. So let's read. So the question says, a company has an issue nine percent bonds which are redeemable at their nominal value. Let's write ten. Nine percent bonds. That's the coupon. Hmm? Nine percent bonds which are redeemable at their nominal value of hundred. So redemption is what. 100 is redeemable at par value, it's redeemable at par in five years' time. N is equal to what? Five years' time. So they said, alternatively, each bond may be converted. That's a convertible debt. That's the conversion option. May be converted on that date into 20 ordinary shares, right? So R is equal to 20 ordinary shares, okay? The current Right, your shares here. They said the current ordinary share price P is what? 4 naira 45 kobo. Hmm? And it is expected to grow G at the rate of 6.5%. If in exam you are already writing this one, the exam now that you have an idea. It's just that you don't have time to finish it. <laughs> it's an idea that we all need, it's just get 50 is idea. 6.5% 6, 6 per year for the foreseeable future. Bondholders required return. Is seven percent per year required return that is cost of debt or due to maturity. Hmm? KD is what seven percent. If I saw this KD, hmm? that is less than the coupon, I reckon that the market value will be high. It will be high because they are discounted at seven percent. Something that is less than the coupon, definitely the market value will be higher than the power value. You know, the power value is hundred. So let's solve. We we'll see that. They said calculate the following values for each hundred naira convertible bond. Calculate the following values for each hundred naira convertible bond. That is calculate the market value, the floor value, and the conversion premium. So I let's start with the market value. I said it in the morning that the market value is what present value of future cash flows. Ask yourself what are the future cash flows? Interest and redemption value or repayment or principal, whatever. Now, don't forget the conversion option. So this redemption value can either be cash or share value, whichever is higher. So let's we know cash. Cash is 100. I hope this place is showing you. Let me check. Okay, it's showing. Sorry, guys. So cash is 100. Now, do we know share? We don't know share. See, that's what these things are for. And remember, I said to calculate the value of the share. It's what? P into 1 plus G, raised power N, times R, the price. The growth number of years to redemption and number of shares in exchange. So we have 4.45 into 1 plus what is the growth rate? 6.5 percent. Hmm? No rise, no rise, 0.065. Okay, because 6.5 times is 6.5 over 100. We want to give you this. How many years? Five years to redemption. How many shares in issue? How many shares in issue did you say? 20 shares. Okay, as in 20 shares on conversion, not an issue. So let's put that in the calculator, right? 1.065. See, I'm gonna make my normal calculator. Sorry. 1.065 raised to the power 5. Hmm? Multiply by 20. Or multiply by anyone, because everything is multiplication. Okay? Multiply by 4.45. So we have 121.94. Which one will you pick? 100 or 100. If you are the person, you pick the higher, right? If you are the debt holder, you pick the higher. So this is what you will bring to your redemption. Okay? Don't forget that you describe the scenario, describe what is happening by saying yeah. This is just in working notes. Okay? So yeah, you have one to year one to five. They will collect interest. I mean details or whatever is happening. Interest or coupon. How much? That is cash flow. Is how much? Nine percent of hundred. Coupon is calculated on face value. That's what nine naira. Nine naira. Put your discount factor. At how many percent you discount at this rate? Seven percent. Write that seven percent. Then you write your present value. Let me just separate this thing. Right. So you write your present value. Okay. So what's your discounting factor? Now because it's year one to five. So you are looking for your cumulative discounting factor, and that is where your annuity table comes in. Okay, so you are going to check what discount rate 7% under how many years? Under 5 years. 
seven under five. So that is 4.100. Okay, so you have 4.100. Multiply this by this. Let's do that. Nine times 4.100. You have 36.9. Mm? Now, in year five, there's a redemption. Don't go and redeem us. Since they told you there's a conversion option, you redeem at the higher. If this one was lower, you pick cash. But since it's higher, you pick it, right? So, redemption at share value hmm? 121.94. Discount is what is the discounting factor? This is not cumulative, this is a single year. It's not a combination of different years. So, you don't need annuity. You need this formula 1 plus R raised power minus N. That is 1 plus, what is the R? The discounting rate. 7% raised to power what? Minus 5. It is year 5. You understand? So 1.07 raised to power minus 5. 1.07 raised to power minus 5. And you have 0 0.713. Then you multiply by what? 121.94. And that will give you 86.9. Okay? So when you add this together, 36.9, you get 123.84. So this, you would wonder where did I get the 84 from, right? 123.8. It's me that I where I got it from because of my calculator. Just the figures are done, okay? So we have one here, 123.8. This 123.8 is the market value. This is what the bond is trading at. You are paying more than the power value, power value is 100. So, because you already understand the relationship between coupon and cost of debt, you already know that it should be higher than 100 because the discounting factor is less than the coupon. Hmm? Somebody cannot be discounting something at 7%. You're not even discounting enough. Like, you need to discount enough. So, you need to discount this one so much. Maybe like 10 or 14% for this market value to be less. Honestly, you don't even need to understand all of these ones. Just know how to solve. So, we've gotten the market value. The second part of the question, which is high time, it says what? Let me not spin the separate mark out. Sorry. It says, um, it says, um, calculate the floor value. I said it in the explanation that the floor value is what? The present value of your coupon plus present value of cash redemption. Hmm? See, find your way to understand it. I mean, do I learn anything? Floor, the minimum, like floor value. See, if there was no conversion option, what would they get? That's it. If there was no conversion option, you would receive the normal interest. What is the present value? 36.9 plus you receive cash redemption of what? 100. The present value of it. The present value. Because you receive 100 naira in 5 years' time. But what is the present value? Hmm? So in 5 years' time, you know the discount factor is what? 0 0.713 times what? 100 naira. So that would give us 36.9 plus this time 100 will be 71.3. And then that would give us. That would give us 108.2 naira. If there was no conversion option, this is the flow value. This is what the debt would have gotten normally. Okay? I, I, I says calculate for the conversion premium. Conversion premium. Right? I explained the one that the conversion premium is what? The cash button on what? Conversion option. Hmm? Minus the flow value. That is, if there's conversion, minus if there's no conversion. That's something like say maximum minus minimum. Do you understand? You know what premium is in real life? Okay, minus the floor value. Okay, and if you look at here, this floor value is what the market value would have been if there was no conversion premium. If there was no conversion option. Now that I was saying it in one, I just put market value beside it, remember. So what's the cash of conversion option? Is what? 123.8. Minus if there's no conversion. 108.2. So that's the premium. Okay. So let's put that in calculator. We'll have the conversion premium to be 15.6. Please, if you have any questions, ask in the comment section. Right there. 
15.6 naira. So, okay, so all these small, small numbers are 100 and 100 naira, 100 and 6, 123. Don't tell me that that's what it is. If you see the question, it says calculate for each 100. So it could be 1 million, 10 million. But you know, because the, the bond is 100 naira, so you could calculate this small, small. In one one first. In a bigger question like investment appraisal, you tell you like 15 million naira debt in issue. So you have to calculate the absolute scales and all of that. So we'll see those ones in subsequent question. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, like, like. When you like the video, it kind of encourages me and even if you can't drop a comment, just like it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next class. Bye!